Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to show you guys something really cool. Um, this is going to be coming out in the uh, update coming this Friday. So the uh, the 1.19 update. So uh, in between uh, my last announcement and uh, the release date, I've been just playing around with the machines and playing around with the stuff. You guys are going to be blown away by some of the uh, some of the equipment. It's going to be great. But uh, one thing that I just discovered while playing around, um, I was really bored and I was like, oh, you know what? I want to try something. So one thing that's always annoyed me with the Feller Buncher head is in real life, when you go to push this saw into a tree, the saw goes into the tree as it's cutting it, right? Because your, your, your saw is spinning, it's cutting into the tree. Now on this game, I've always had the issue of having a solid plate on the bottom so that usually holds the trees as you collect them it allows the trees to sit on it while you swing it around so they don't fall through the blade um so it's annoyed me because every time you push into a tree there's a solid plate hitting the tree and it's not really realistic because you know like your your cut point usually starts about here so you start sawing the tree before it even touches the saw and then finally when the saw touches it's already cut so not realistic and kind of kind of annoying so I have found a way, uh, and I'm still experimenting with this, but I'll show you here in the game in a second. Um, I found a way to create a full, um, a full mobile plate. So this is basically a spring-loaded plate that goes in and out. And it's basically a solid collision box that pops in and out. And I've separated the cut node and put it on the body and then allowed this plate to move. So now, as you push into a tree, this plate will push back like this. And as it hits the saw point... It'll shoot back out underneath and hold the trees in. And basically what I'm doing is I'm allowing tree sizing to occur. So if we have a really fat tree, I no longer have to have the cut node way out here ahead of the plate. I still can keep the cut node back here. So if I have a really fat tree, you can push this plate all the way back as far as there. And the cut node will cut that big tree and then the plate kicks out. Um, and this allows it to um, stop or allows it, allows it to stop cutting the tree, basically. So in-game, I've just been experimenting around. So I'm going to turn the saw off so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. So basically what's happening uh, on a physics level, as I push this into the tree, if I can get a good view, you can see that orange plate on the bottom there? So as I push it into the tree, see how that plate slides backwards? Now the saw is not on right now, so the plate's sliding, pushing into the tree. But as soon as that tree cuts, that uh, that saw will or that uh, plate on the bottom will pop underneath the tree and hold it in place. So now uh, the the big thing is, sorry, one sec here. Um, when you're cutting larger trees, so let's find a big diameter tree real quick here. So this allows it now, like I said, to cut little trees more realistically, but also uh, big trees. So now when I'm going to cut. Um, a big tree again you can see that plate on the bottom I can still push into a big tree and that plate will go all the way back it'll let me push it all the way into that saw blade um, while you're cutting obviously it doesn't look realistic right now because the blades are sticking through the tree but while your blade is on you can now get that full diameter tree into the cut node which is a big big deal because you could never do this before so for instance now if I want to cut a larger tree the saw is on, it'll allow you to push right into that tree and then grab and cut it, just like so. And then you can drop it. So that's pretty good. Um, but then at the same time, you can also cut the smaller trees without it being absolutely out to lunch. So the little trees will grab, and because that plate is popping back into place, um, it allows you to kind of get a more, a better grip around the tree before the cut node engages. So I'm really right around the tree when I go to grab and it'll actually hold that tree in place a lot better. Um, before, like I said, before you'd have a solid cut node, so I'm just gonna turn the saw off. So what would happen, instead of allowing me to get the full grip of the the claws, it would stop right here, dunk! So it would hit that, it would hit the edge of that blade basically. And then you only have just that tiny bit of grab room if you can kind of see up in the corner. That's all the kind of grab room you had. So you had to be really fast on it, but now that you can push it all the way in before it starts cutting, you got all that meat to grab with those with those claws before it lets go. Um, so I'm going to be experimenting with this uh, right up till release. But so far, it has been uh, super effective. So not only can you cut 
nice small little trees but like i said you can go after the uh the much larger trees as well now uh it just gives you a lot more uh a lot more ability to chop oops i think i grabbed the back tree there there we go but as you can see like i said that uh you can do some really effective grabs without having any issue and then if it's a smaller tree you can still do the same grab and just get a lot more of a more of a bite on it so like i said i'm going to experiment for a while and uh, play around but uh, I thought this was a pretty cool development because I haven't had any real major <coughs> uh, physics-type breakthroughs uh, in a long time, and this is kind of a, a cool one. So, Anyway, this will be coming out with the Friday update, so hopefully you guys can test it and uh, find any weird bugs or anything. But so far, it has been cutting amazingly, and I can't wait to uh, give you guys a shot at it. Anyhow, uh, we'll let you go. Uh, we'll see you all in the big Friday release. <laughs> see ya.